I mean, when, when we look at the future of food in the world, I think that, you know, consumers in the world are looking for, you know, a really big bang for their buck. So they want the protein, they want the fiber, they want natural micronutrients, not just biofortified foods. They want natural clean label, you know, products. So non-GMO and gluten-free. And, you know, these are the type of things that I think the consumer of the future, uh, you know, really cares about. When we look at it as well, environmental profile is going to be very important. We look at millennials today and the way that they're consuming, but then I look at Generation Z, the next generation, you know, the environmental footprint, water use, carbon footprint, you know, the, the, uh, those are very important issues uh, for that, uh, that consumer base and pulses have that profile. They're naturally that way. It comes from the agronomy, it comes from the way we grow them. So we don't have to change anything to achieve a very superior environmental sustainability message for the food industry. I think that's really important. I hope that the International Year of Pulses will bring this awareness to the world. Uh, the characteristics that we're marketing are so intriguing and so compelling that you know when the world discovers pulses, you know, countries around the world know pulses, they are actually a staple in their diet. But when the rest of the world understands, I think that pulses will become a major part of diets, you know, in the next, you know, 100 years, as they have been for the past 100 years. So it's a very interesting, uh, you know, product where we look at North America, Western Europe and non-traditional markets, the profiles there. And I think that's what I think we're going to achieve with the International Year of Pulse. We look at you know the requirement of 70% more food to feed 30% more population. You know the truth is the water use efficiency per unit of protein of pulses is going to be a necessary part of achieving those targets. So you know when we look at that uh, that uh, you know protein profile and the carbon footprint, you know many believe that the only way we will achieve our targets is to create three billion vegetarian consumers or widespread inclusion of vegetable protein in the diets of everyday citizens of the world. I think that's what we're going to see, you know, as they become more aware and as it becomes more available, not only to be consuming pulses as pulses, but as ingredients in everyday food products. On behalf of the Canadian National Committee, we encourage you to celebrate the International Year of Pulses.